Okay, so hello everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for attending. And once again, thank you to fxstreet.com to giving me the opportunity to speak. Uh, my name is Telmo Pinto. I'm the founder and director of market operations at Intuition Trading Group. For those who aren't familiar, we are a team of professional traders dedicated to provide simple, real-time, unified trading solutions for investors. Before we go ahead, it's important to read here the disclaimer. Um, any alerts or any levels or trades I alert during the webinar, uh, it's important to note that they are not a solicitation to invest, and you should carefully consider your financial situation prior to making any investment. It's preferable you seek, adv you, you seek advice from an independent financial advisor if you have any questions or concerns. During the webinar, if you have any doubts or want to put any questions, please feel free to write on the chat or on the questions and answers box uh, so I can see and answer to all your questions, okay? Um, for those who don't know, uh, we have some services. One of them are the automated Forex trading signals. They are automated to the MT4 platform. You can see more details at our website or at fxtreet.com on the world that appears on the slides. If you are an fxtreet.com client or user, you have a 10% discount on the fees. Um, please go there or go to our website, intuitiontrading.com, see what you do, and see if this is a good service to include in your portfolio, okay? So this is our mainly average trading since its absence since 2012. You have more details on our website, okay, with statistics, real-time statistics, okay, and real-time statements. Um, so go there and see, and, and if you have any questions, please email us so we can answer to them. So let me open here the platform. Last week, last Thursday, during the webinar, uh, I have received some emails regarding the, um, the Forex order book provided by Awanda. Today I'm going there, okay, a little more. Uh, okay, let me open here the platform to explain how we can use that great tool in order to to help us finding some values on some levels for the market. Okay, support, resistance, breaks, even put our stops in order to not get caught okay, on the sudden moves of the market. So the euro, let me open here, this is the 55 pips rank of our chart. Okay, as you know, I mainly trade with rank of our charts. I don't use any type of indicators. I prefer, okay, the price leads the market, so I trade with the price, okay? I prefer the rank of our charts due to avoid the noise that market have. Okay, this is the 55 pips. As I told, this is more likely the weekly, okay, the normal weekly chart, okay. So last Thursday, I alert for this, the 127 level. Is the support, the box continue here. Okay, we don't have yet a breakdown or a consolidate or um, any information that this could might be a, a, a bottom of the market, okay, or um, or some kind of support of the market for market test at least the 128.30. So the levels now are are clearly defined, okay. We have here the 128.30 area, 20.30 area, and we have the 127 area, okay? If market came here to 126.50 area, I believe that market will continue go down again, okay? 
if market um, all this 127 level we are in some kind of range since Thursday <laughs> sorry I'm a bit cold uh, since since Thursday we are some kind of range let me put this larger ear okay so we can see okay so if market support here let's say if we can have a close or market break the 127 30 40 area okay the 30 40 area we can see some kind of pushing for euro go to 127 90 and then 128 20 128 30 area so these are the area and market can can bounce here up and down so to not get caught here please be alert for these two levels okay in order to okay don't sell on the lows or don't buy on the tops okay last um, Friday the market spike to 127.90 area okay that was really a spike break the 127.60 uh, that was a signal of possible go long okay uh, but then reverse heavily from the 127.90 and then test the 126.90 level okay and then remains here 127.20 uh, 30 couldn't pass then 127 again now during the day 127 127 20 is the level for the euro okay, let me see here the the question if 55 pips is equal to weekly what about 34 and 21s what they are equal to okay I'm going there Ahmed Solman I'm going there to answer your question let me finish here analyzing the 55 pips when I go the 34 I explain that to you but mainly okay the 34 is equal to the four hours daily okay and the 21 uh, 30 minutes to an hour okay or if we have a fast market can be lower the time frame but not less than 15 minutes okay not less than that the 21 pips okay let's finish here so the levels are really defined here on the 55 pips if we look at this we know okay if market can really break the 127 and this break uh, for me is market could go to 126 80 126 70 level we'll see or we'll have high probability to see that arrow will go touch the 126 50 area and if can break well we have this when we see this type of of weeks on the bars this is in definition okay market go down and then let me put this larger to show you and do some annotations here to explain you how you can see if market is breaking or have some kind of tough to break or go to the one side okay in this case let me put this on yellow is preferably okay we have here this week then bar close at that level made another week but okay go up again then market close at that level made another week down and then go up again then market close but made another week and then close up and only at this level we see approximately 100 pips straight move here okay so the 127 level was the breaking level and this breaking level is what making difficult for arrow holding this level now okay was the break level at this break level uh, the majority of institutions okay in banks and F positions at this level so and okay so it's, it's kind of tough to okay if it's going to break we'll go test the 12750 area here let me do this better okay we'll go test the 12750 okay and then probably we'll go test here the 120 okay 126 level but this area 
this area here will be for sure a ranging area and a confluence area. Okay, this ranging here. And this is about, okay, 200 pips. Okay. So we can have the same scenario we have here, okay, here at this bottom. So this is, um, let me do another color here. This is no man's land, my alert on Thursday, okay. This is no man's land, no third, okay, no trading area here. We have this area after that, okay, and we have this area if market break up. Okay. But at this level, and especially this level here, okay, here, the 127, 128 area, 127, 90, 128 area, okay, to to do the, 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 the whole number, okay, 127, 128, is this area is really tough okay this two bars area they are really tough okay this C and here this yellow uh, sorry this blue level here this is no trend if break okay then after that but as we saw previ previously to go and break for sure there will be lots of confusion in this area here okay lots of confluence in this area because market was not really defining, okay, this is going to break, okay, let's do a break, like happening here, okay. This was a clear break. Once close here at 27, market goes straight to 128. So this is a clear breaking level. This is not, a, at these levels here, this was not a, a breaking level. We have here this, okay, this close the bar, then retest low, go up, then almost on these levels we have about 8, 8 to 100 pips, okay, 80 to 100 pips retracement in the market. And that's why we have a ranging at that area, ranging market, ranging, and then after that, the break. So this is the bigger picture of the euro now, okay? continue from last Thursday, okay, market didn't, didn't define, okay, if are willing to go down or even to go up, okay, let me clean this, and we go now to the 34 pips to see, okay, these lines I draw on Thursday, so as you can see, the lines remain intact here, okay, oh, sorry, the lines remain intact here. So, if they hold the market at this level, okay, on this shorter time frame, okay, we can have a retest here again of the 127, 80, 90 area. If break, we can have the 128, 30 area, okay. And after that, we know that, okay, market can go further up. Testing gear the 129, and if it's okay, okay, testing gear the previous low, 129.50 area. If the scenario is to go up, to go down, and we can see clearly here on the, on the 34 pips, the confluence we saw on the 55 pips, let me put the chart side by side so we can see. Let me minimize here. This confluence area here, the weeks on the bars, we can see that is this, uh, let me do the annotation, okay, is this level here, okay, is this ranging here on the 34 pips, okay. This ranging area is this bar on the 55. So, if we break the 126.50 area, okay, to go down, we are going to have a lot of stuff in this area. Okay, this is about 200 pips, so don't forget that, okay, we can have some opportunities there for the 21 pips, 
okay, or continuation of the cell on the 34 and on the 50, in the 55 pips. Okay, so let's go now to the 21 pips here to see that this is the more volatile, okay. This was the spike, okay. This was the spike move that we have on Friday, okay. This is the spike move, and after that, market retrace. Okay, made a new low here, okay, but didn't didn't confirm the break, okay. That's why it's supporting here, okay. If market go, this might make, okay, this could be a creation of a pattern, okay, if market go to test that level, then can have another retracement, then test, and then break, okay, this can be uh, the beginning of this pattern, okay, we have lots of this pattern, let me show you here, okay, this could be a development of that pattern, we don't know yet, okay, I'm just showing you some prob okay the probability what market can do can develop although this to to this pattern okay if market go up down then up and down this leg here okay let me put with another color this leg here okay can't be lower than this level if it's lower is a, a, a triple failure of this level, and for sure that market will break, and we'll see at least 126 area, okay, market to be it. So resuming, and to resume here, if market can hold this level here, and this level is the 127, okay, can go and test again, the 127.90 area, okay, couldn't break, make another low, can go and test again the 127.50 area, and then go up and break, okay, if, on the other hand, if market goes to, let's say, 127.90 area, test that level, and do another failure here, and another failure is market go and break the 127, we'll see market marking new lows here, okay? So these are the possibilities, this I'm looking to the chart now, okay? But let's go now to the, to the Oanda, okay, the order book, so to, in order to see if, if we can find some, okay, better spots for our some ideas that what market can do if we'll go and test the 127.90 uh, 2790 area or if we'll go down okay let me open here the okay is this okay let me put this on english if you have any questions, please feel free to ask, okay? I'm more than willing to answer all your questions here, okay? So, in order to know what I want to provide us, I want to provide us four market sentiment indicators, okay? Let's begin here for the open positions, okay? And I'm going to resume this during the webinar because I received some some emails regarding this and then trying to explain, okay, I'm going to explain this once again, so everyone knows what is this. Okay, this is the, the, the open positions that are the market. I noticed during these three, four years, okay, more four years that I'm looking to this chart, to this tool, sorry, that this, this create a, a good picture of the all market sentiment and all market levels, okay? This is from Oanda, 
um, another brokerage are now um, showing this to, to its customers, okay, or for instance, FX Pro um, and other, other brokers are showing this too, okay. But the most developed is, is the OND, okay, for me, is, is the best tools that, okay, because at, at a glance we see, we, we can see all we want to see, okay. It's curious because, and let's show we, this is the, is the, um, is the open positions. In these three, four years that I'm, I'm looking, okay, in this past time that I'm looking, I never saw the euro break the middle table to up, okay? So for me, the higher position that euro can be on this table is at the level that are current or at this level here, okay? At this levels here. So mid table, around mid table, okay? I do some, some research about this and is, is, let me explain you correctly, uh, the research I have done is about the correlation, okay, on the, the, the other pairs with the euro. When I'm saying the correlation is not, okay, market go up and the other go up, or market go down and the other go down. No, it's about the, the, the money circulation, or the, better say, the money correlation that exist on the forex market, okay, that not allow the euro to go further up move on the table, okay, because there are some, okay, big players here on the, on the OENA, some institutions that trade with OENDA, and they, the, 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 the allocation they, they made on the portfolio uh, doesn't allow that euro go up, okay, from this level. That is the the, the explanation um, I receive for my research, okay. So, so this is the extreme that we see on the euro. On these extreme situations, we have two possibilities, okay, or marking, uh, um, sorry, or market of strong um, um, strong momentum and continue to go down okay because we look this at the opposite okay we saw that the 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 buyers are larger than the sellers so we have higher probability for market to go down it's completely the opposite okay like i explained on thursday and i reinforced this um, in almost all webinars, okay, because this is, is really important, okay. So, we have two possibilities here. Or market uh, have momentum and continue to go down, or we are some kind of support of the market, okay. When you see, for instance, a jump from the euro, let me put another color here, when you see, for instance, a jump of the year of about two or three positions here, okay, we'll see a, a, a strong move on the market, okay? So, this will be the lower for the euro, and this will be the higher, okay? The yellow will be the higher, and the red will be the lower vol value for the euro, okay? So, if at this level here we have the scenario, at this level here we, we have the scenario that, okay, market can continue, can continue to go further down or create some kind of support here and go up from here. So, at this level here, what happening, uh, what happening here is market can continue go up okay or create some kind of resistance and then go further down okay so this is the information we can take from the open positions this is the open position of ratios okay firstly this was developed to see um, the 8020 
Okay, I speak with some with some Oanda inside Oanda. Okay, and they mm, firstly they look at this to see positions about um, eight ten. When you have eighty twenty, you have an extreme oversold or overbought situation. Okay, but with further development and more players at the market, okay, this tend to to make some kind of evolution, and the evolution was clear this okay in my opinion was was this so this is the information we can take from these open positions okay any questions regarding this so we can move to the the order book okay uh, MRC okay the lines I draw okay uh, the yellow lines, okay, let me rephrase here. I was talking about the, okay, I was talking about that the euro, okay, couldn't go, or at least the time I spend here, okay, uh, looking at this, about three, four years, the euro will not go above the mid table. So this will be the values that we are going to look for the euro. At this level, we have the higher range of the, the table. At this level, we have the lower range of the table. Okay, you can see here. Okay, nothing here. At the upper of the of the table, euro have two. Okay, have to when we have extremes, our arrow will gain more momentum and continue to go down. That is current situation now, or create some kind of support, okay, and go up. The opposite applies when when we saw arrow here at the bottom of the table can gain more momentum and go up, or create some kind of resistance and go down. It's important here is we see. Uh, Okay, the fast the euro move inside this range, okay, from up to down or down to up. It's important to see the the, the allocation of money changing here from pairs to pairs, okay. So this is the 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 lines what what we're expressing here. So from Ahmed Solman. How can the majority of the traders be wrong? Why not all be contrary? Well, that's a good question. But that, unfortunately, is how market is made. I can't answer you to that because I really don't know. Okay. Um, the explanation I found, okay, was that um, if you enter long on a trade, for instance, now. If you are short, you enter short at 127 level, okay? And market may creating here some kind of support and go up from here, okay? Go to the 127.80, go to the 127.90 area, okay? Those traders, okay, now market is going to go up. And they close the seller and open long, okay? And... Market is trying to making some kind of range in gear, okay, from range at this area. After that, when market break, okay, the retail trader or better saying the trader there was caught, okay, in this range, losing, selling the lowers and buy the, the tops, okay. Um, I try, okay, let me wait a little more. For market to go up and okay, market is breaking up, but okay, this could be down. Okay, this is going to be down, and or it holds the position, the short position, or it waits for market to go further up. Then market continue to go up, and the mentality or the brain of the trader tell, okay, let me hold my losing position because this is creating here some kind of resistance and market go down again. Um, or if he's not on a trade, okay, this can be a confirmation. But let me see if market can break that level, make some kind of retracement, and then I enter long. Then when market create and do a, a big range, finally the trader decide, okay, I'm going to close my short position, I can hold, 
or if not on the market, okay, let me open here because market now is going to break. And then market begins to go down. Okay? That is the lack of momentum that the majority of the retail traders have, okay? And don't go with the, with the break or don't go with the market, okay? So that is my explanation why the majority of the, of the traders lose money, okay? Because, and the another side is, okay, jumping from a system to another, okay? Uh, okay, this is my biggest, this is my better system. This will give me, okay, around 90 or 80 uh, profitable trades or even 100. Okay, that, that doesn't exist like I explained. Okay, and <coughs> sorry, all my experience, I never saw that. Okay, we'll always have losing trades. After that, the trader have one or two losing positions. Okay, and then, okay, this system is no good, let me change. Okay, and then re-enter, 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 another system, another system, and another system. Also, the other option is, okay, um, do the opposite. We need to let the profit run and cut the losses. The majority of the traders cut the gains and let the losses run. Okay? This happened to me in my early days of trading. Okay? Mm. Right now is not happening because I'm, I have developed um, about, okay, my system have about um, eight years of real market, okay, have an evolution from there. Um, I know exactly, well, where is my entry, is my exit. Of course, I will have losses. Um, there's no, no way I can have them. But I kept the losses and let the profits run. Okay. So this can be the... the, the 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 reasons why the majority of the traders lose money, okay. So at least is the least is the, is the reasons I found um, during my okay 20 or more 20 years experience in the market, okay. From MRC, the lower part means less traded. No, it's not less traded. MRC, this is the open positions ratio. Okay, is the sellers and the buyers that are currently on the market. Okay, so if euro is at the lowest position on the bar, that means that the majority of the traders are sellers. Okay, if are at mid table here, that means the majority of the traders are long. Okay. This is not less traded or uh, this is position ratios, okay? Positions on the market. So let's go now to the order book. Okay, let me put here the net and zoom. Here we have um, two graphs. On the left, we have the open orders. These open orders here, let me do the annotation here too. Okay, can be on black, okay. This here, these open orders, this sharp, uh, graph here, is the orders that are currently on the market, but they are not realized, okay. Can be stop limits, uh, okay, majority of stop limit orders, okay, or buy limit or sell limit. They are limit orders, okay. So, on the right, we have the open positions. These open positions are currently the orders that are at the market, okay, realized orders, okay? And this is where price is now, okay? We have some delay. Unfortunately, we have delay on this order book. If you could have this at least five or... Okay, 15 minutes was very good. If we have five, was perfect, okay? Because with this, we could create any types of trading systems with this, okay? This is an excellent tool to see where price might bounce or not bounce, okay? So on the left, 
when I want to see is where are the majority of the stops or where are the stops. We can see now that the stops are at 125, below 125 level and 124.20, 124 more or less, at 124, below 125 at 124. These are the stops from the buyers, the majority, okay? Of course, there is stops in the, in the middle of this, of, but, but they are not significant to be shown here on the chart. On the other side, from the sellers, they are at 132.50 here on the open orders. We see the majority are 132.50. These stops here are almost two months here, okay? So this, these are long, medium to long term traders positions, okay? So what this can tell us now is that we have here some kind of unbalance on the price here from 127, 127.50. This was due to the range. We, we can see now that with the open positions, at the one below 127 and 127, there was sellers appearing in the market expecting a break of that level. Okay, so expecting a break of this level, they enter and selling on the market. Okay, and that's why market okay can go up from here. But we continue to see that the majority of the traders are long at the market, okay? These levels here, if we can, I will answer your question soon, okay? These levels here, okay, these rectangles here are the majority of the traders. We only have the sellers, we have here 227 below, but we have a lot of buyers, okay, till 130, till 130 level, okay. Below 127.7, 127.60, we don't have too much sellers on the market, okay. So we continue to see that at, at right now, who will lose more money will be the buyers. So these are creating this imbalance on the price, and you can see. Uh, this creates this imbalance, these ranging markets, on the wall. these ranging markets are creating due to this imbalance. Sellers appear at 127 or below, but the majority of the traders are long, so market is creating here some kind of range, okay, to can clean the orders here or, or can somehow took out some traders from the market to gain more momentum to go up or to go down. At the moment, we only know that, <coughs> sorry, if market break the 126, 80 level, 80 level, can go to 126, 50 area. If can support from here, can test the 127. This is what we know now. Even now, uh, this can show us uh, good, okay, good perspectives of the market, or what the market will do. Okay. On the right side, if you are asking this, I'm at Solman. If we see orange, orange here, are the and these are the are the trades that are currently on profit. Okay. As you can see, the majority of trades are losing money. Only these orange orders are gaining money. Okay, or are, are are making money. Only this area here, okay? These are losing money, and these are losing money, okay? Only this level here are making money, okay? So as you can see, the majority of the traders are losing money at the moment, even the sellers or the buyers. Only those few that enter long, at 127, 126, 90, 127, are making money now, okay? There are a small portion of the traders, okay? So, this is what the order book 
explained to us. This is good for us to see the stops, okay, possible breaks, or where are the majority of the traders are playing now. So we can see that if market can break the 126.80, there's space to test the 126.50, but we'll not clean any, okay, let, let's say we'll not clean any stops area. If we saw there huge stops at 126.50 area, uh, that would create even higher probability that market, okay, will go to clean that level and then go up again. Or continue to go down. Right now we only see okay that where sellers appears at the, at that level. Okay. Uh, market is creating some kind of support or agreement in the price at this level. Can go and test okay the 12750 area, clean small stops there. Okay. Uh, and then okay can continue to go up or go down. But definitely definitely we are in no trading area, okay? Very tough area to trade. And is at this area that the majority of the, uh, um, of the traders, of the, the newbie traders, like I used to say, uh, can make some, some pips, okay? Because, okay, market is only the 127, let's buy here, okay? Then, okay, 127.20, okay, is some kind of range, let's sell here. And then, okay, market go down. If market break the 127, 20, 30 area, can go to 127, 50, or even go test the 127, 90, that is the top of the ranging now, they for sure will close the trade, okay? Or the opposite applies. If they are buying at 127 and decide to go down the market, they hold, 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 and... Probably when market will make the break, they will go out of the, of, of the trade or holding the losing positions. Okay, importantly, is that what happened? Okay, but we have all the tools to see that, okay, um, these tools can help us in order to define, okay, where are the best possible areas to put our stops. Right now, if you want to, to, to go with a, a possible breakdown, you need to have your stop above 127.50 area. So your target need to be at least 126.50 to be a one-to-one -one risk ratio trade. Okay? Because we have stops there, 127.50, right? This updates now, okay? You can see that now, okay, the, the long trades are no more winning, gaining on the market, right now are the, the short trades that are gaining there, okay, the stops appears at 127, 40, 30, 40 area, so if market can go there, to be short, you need to put your stop above 127.50, okay, to be long, okay, you need to have your stop or below 120 below 126, 90 area, 80 area, okay, if you are long, in order to, okay, then reverse and go further down with the market, okay. The other tool, and to finish, the other tool that Oanda provides us is the historical position, okay. This is historical open trades, okay, but we can see clearly here with the historical position. This I show you last Thursday, and I explained this last Thursday, but let's go here, and you can see here, when the majority of the traders are long, you will see that, or when pass from short to long, we'll see that, okay, is beginning of a, a trend developing or a further down, okay? When you see from down to up, you'll see that, okay, market is some kind of ranging here. Then further down and market make new low, then okay, go up and market go down, then short positions market go up, then strong reverse to long positions, and what market do? Okay, market sell. Same year, develop on July, beginning of July. 
market was up and down, up and down, reversing here the trend. And when market begin to go up, okay, sellers appear, more sellers appear, more sellers appear in the market. Right now, what we have, we have the first reverse that can mean, okay, market can go further down or create some kind of ranging area. So this tool is important to see on the larger time frame, on a larger scale, where price might go up and down, go up and down. Okay. So this is the tools we have from Oanda. Okay. We have also the rank of our charts that provide us with excellent tool to avoid the noise. Okay, so just to reinforce here the levels, next webinar we have is on Thursday. So during the week, I expect, okay, I expect that market can, can create here some kind of breaking area, okay, can break or go up or go down. It is important, okay, to, to break this area, okay. So what we have is the 128 level and the 127 level, okay? So be alert for these two levels, okay? If you can see that market continue to go down, touch the 127, 126.50 can go further down, okay? If create some kind of support here, can go and test the 128. So inside this range, be careful what, with the trades, okay? because you can have a break or a strong break and get caught on this on this ranging area here okay so these are the levels to sustain from right now i expect on thursday we have i have more news okay and tell okay market go up could break and market go down so this is the levels to watch Okay, to answer here the question, does that mean more people are buying when the market is falling? Yes, correctly. Correctly, Ahmed. More people are accumulating positions or buying positions when market is falling, and more people are accumulating sell positions when market is going up. It's clearly on that chart, okay? That is... is is current okay situation that on the market okay so let me finish here let me show you only this just to alert you for the okay this is our statistics you can go to our website okay just to note that okay if you have any questions uh please feel free to email me at trading desk at intuitiontrading.com uh, you can go to our website, intuitiontrading.com, or at our page at fxstreet.com. Um, thank you very much for attending. I hope you have enjoyed the session. We will have next Thursday, the, the webinar is at 5 p.m. So I hope you see you all here, okay, for the next webinar. So thank you very much. Have a rest of nice day. Have a rest of nice week, weekend. And... and Profitable and enjoyable trading for all. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye.